is a normal 12 millimeter tactile button, and this is a 3D printed project that I want to integrate it with. But as you can see, it doesn't really hold in place. So we're gonna make a small circuit board that the button mounts to that then has mounting holes to mount it in the case. To do this, we'll grab a chunk of circuit board material and put it in our Carvera Air. Now, this is a desktop CNC machine that's capable of routing, among other things, circuit boards. Just like a 3D printer, a CNC machine has a head that moves, but instead of extruding filament, it uses drill bits and other tools to carve away material. After loading up our design, we use the laser probe to calibrate the machine. When the machine flashes two lights at us, we know it's time to load up our second tool, which in this case is a single flute engraving bit. It's really quick to swap it in. There's a quick tool changer in the machine, and then it's ready to go and carve out the traces for our circuit board. The cutting time varies based on material and operation, but this one was super quick. And if we vacuum it up, you can see just how precise the Carvera Air has been. Next, we're gonna switch to a corn bit, which is a type of bit that has cutting edges on the side so it can move laterally and cut through material. We'll use that to make a couple holes. Then again, vacuum and wow, crisp. Next, we'll use some of this green goo. This is gonna be our solder mask. We'll put that down and use a roller and then cure it with the UV lamp. To re-expose some of the copper, we'll use the UV solder mask removal tool, which is a spring-loaded bit that will cut through the mask, but not the copper. The UV mask is totally optional, but it makes the board a little more durable and makes it a bit easier to solder to. Now, I did mess up. I definitely should have drilled the holes after doing the mask, but that's okay. We'll swap back to the corn bit, cut out our final shape, and then with a little cleanup, we have a pretty decent looking 45-minute uh, circuit board. This was my first time using the UV solder mask, and the drilling definitely messed it up, and there's a little bit of green here that didn't cure, but that's okay. Uh, we're able to work around all of that because at the end of the day, I can solder my button to this and it mounts perfectly in the case. There's definitely an art to making circuit boards on a CNC machine, and I have not mastered that yet, but this achieved what I was trying to achieve. And you just can't beat the fact that I was able to do it in less than an hour end to end. That is super, super cool.